And here's how you can use the 2D to 3D uh, function in Logo Diffusion V2. So for this example, I just uploaded this Starbucks logo here. And I'm going to switch to a 3D style. Uh, I'm going to stick to 3D. We have a bunch of styles here. Uh, and with the image influence, I'll set it to mid. And let's say I want to do something uh, a little bit derivative of uh, the uh, Starbucks logo. So I'll just do something like Ice Cream Queen. And let's hit Generate. All right, and here are the results we got uh, from this. So you can see there is some ice cream influence, but maybe not as much as we want. So in order to change the result, it all comes down to the image influence slider. So if you wanted to follow the logo more precisely, you go more towards high. And if you want to give the AI more creative freedom, we go to more towards low. So if I go all the way down to the minimum and then just try to do it again, you can see the results now show more of a creative freedom and it doesn't follow all the contours of the logo but rather just uh, uses it as a base for a 3d design and now if we go all the way to high and then just click generate again you can see that uh, the results now follow the logo more precisely and we can see all of the elements of the logo in all of the images uh, but just with a slight style can apply it uh, to them. Now, if you want to use the actual colors of the logo, you can just click yes here for use image colors. And let's bring it back to the middle and let's try again. All right, so you can see now uh, it's taking some of the colors from the logo, like the background. So now we have a clean background, exactly like the input image, but sometimes uh, some color shift happens where the AI would mistake greens for blue. So in order to force the color into it, we can just click specify color and click green. And let's do off white. So these are the main colors that we want them to absolutely be visible. So we can just click generate again. And now as you can see, we got results that incorporate our prompt of ice cream. And it also uses the colors from the input image. Uh, so when you specify green and white, it knows exactly what pixels should be green and what pixel should be white. And you can see that it's taking inspiration uh, from the input image. Now we can do the same thing here. If you want more uh, creative freedom, we can go down, let's say to, you know, mid low and then just try again. And now you can see that uh, these results have uh, definitely more uh, randomization and it has more uh, creative freedom. And the details are uh, way better than what would you get with Logo Diffusion V1 since this is uh, a 1K base uh, resolution. Now, if you need to upscale it, you can even upscale it to 2K by clicking the upscale button over here. Or if you need to remove the background, you can just click on remove background, uh, give it a few seconds, and you can just see in your downloads, you just got a clean image with no background that's ready to be used uh, for an advertisement or a social media post. Now, one more thing you can do is you don't have to follow the colors from uh, the input image. You can actually pick your own uh, color compilation. So let's say we want to do like something with violet and cyan, and I'll just do another generation. And as you can see with the results, we got something using the uh, color palette. Um, if we want it to follow the logo uh, more, we can just increase this slider so we can always get uh, results that show more resemblance to the input logo. And don't forget to use all of these 3D styles. You can click on here and you see so far we only used the 3D one, but I did uh, some examples using the, the rest of the styles. For example, here's a couple results I got with the inflated style. Also, here are a couple ones using the embroidered uh, style. We got here the craft clay, uh, we got origami, fantasy art, and there's a bunch of other uh, styles both in 2D uh, and 3D that you can explore and test. And this is how you use the 2D to 3D workflow on Logo Diffusion V2. And stay tuned for more videos to show you uh, other things you can do with Logo Diffusion.